Stocks have been on an absolute freefall in 2022, with the S&P 500 down nearly 20% year to date. Even though stock prices don't necessarily correlate with the intrinsic value of American businesses, there are certainly a lot of problems in the American economy. We're seeing decades high inflation rates, and as a result, the Fed has raised interest rates by 75 basis points for the third consecutive time and is likely to continue doing so, which means stocks have a tough road ahead. Despite all this chaos, we believe that all this should sound like music to the ears of long-term stock investors because even though the market's in shambles, stocks are trading at bargain discounted prices today and that's why we believe that now's the time to take advantage before the opportunity goes away. That's why in this video, we're sharing the top six stocks to buy for. We appreciate your support, and if you're finding this content valuable, make sure to stick around until our last pick, which is our favorite, BBY. First up guys, we have an extra special stock pick for you guys, which is Best Buy. Best Buy is a retailer that specializes in selling consumer electronics like TVs, gaming products, speakers, and a bunch of other knickknacks, and this stock definitely piques our interest. The company sells tech products in both the US and Canada. Best Buy stock doubled after COVID, jumping from $57 to around $115. Now, the stock has declined about 45%. Best Buy is facing some problems. The company's suppliers are paying for higher transportation and component costs, and some of this has led to higher costs of goods sold. Also, the retailer is paying more for labor and marketing. Best Buy has often passed this on to customers in the form of higher prices, so as a result, sales have been lower than expected. Best Buy has been able to save money on promotional activity since the pandemic made more people want to buy Best Buy's products. Since Best Buy sells more discretionary products like TVs, Best Buy is getting hurt from things like low consumer confidence, inflation, and problems with the supply chain. Since most of what BBY sells are luxury items, the company might be hurting in the short term. All of this points to a cyclical downturn rather than an existential crisis for the company, and we think this is still a fundamentally good business. Sales for Best Buy have started growing in recent years, and even though this is an old world retailer, take a look at the business's profitability. Operating margins have been steadily trending upwards, and the business has been seeing much higher returns on invested capital and is expected to see 40% plus returns on capital in future years. That's pretty interesting. When we look at the valuation for Best Buy stock, everything is coming up golden. Given conservative earnings per share estimates of 7% annually, at today's current share price, the model estimates that Best Buy stock will see 20.5% annual returns over the next five years. Best Buy is a strong business that's been becoming more profitable. Even though it's not the most exciting stock out there, it certainly looks to offer exciting opportunities and you may find it worthy of further research. MO. Next up guys, we have a very special stock for you, which is the one and only Altria Group. Altria is an American corporation and one of the biggest producers and marketers of tobacco, cigarettes, and related products in the world. About 90% of the company's revenue comes from its smokable products segment, which owns cigarette brands like Marlboro, Benson & Hedges, Merit, Virginia Slims, etc. Shares have just about traded flat since March 2020 during the depths of COVID, but shareholders have still most likely been very happy with this stock because this is a high-yield stock currently yielding a massive 9%. There are, of course, some obvious risks with the Altria company. The company recently received some bad news about regulations. The FDA recently said that it plans to stop Juul from selling its e-cigarettes in the United States. It said that the agency hasn't gotten enough clinical evidence about how dangerous Juul and its pods are. This is bad news because the company had acquired a 35% stake in Juul, which might not have been the best investment looking back, as the investment went from $12.8 billion to under $1 billion. But still, we think Altria is definitely a stock to consider. Even if you don't smoke, you're probably familiar with Altria's products just because the company is so dominant in the cigarette market in the US. Additionally, the company is investing in e-cigarettes to keep up to date with current trends. Altria sells addictive products that people want to keep coming back to, which means high lifetime value of its customers. Also, there's really only a few competitors in this market, which gives Altria strong pricing power. Today, we think shares are undervalued. 
Let's take a look at the company's numbers and see what the numbers have to say. Over the past 10 years, Altria has seen steady and low revenue growth. The business has seen its operating margins trend upwards over time, which means the company continues to become more profitable and the business has averaged a return on invested capital of about 25.1%, which is very impressive because that means for every investor's dollar, they're earning 25% returns, which I have to admit is nothing short of phenomenal. When we value the business based on analysts' growth and dividend expectations, today the model estimates that Altria stock will make about 13.3% annual returns over the next five years. And with the business's past history of high returns on capital and position as a market leader, I think the stock can perform well, and investors will see most of these returns from dividend payments, which makes this a great income stock. DKS all right, guys, next up we have Dick's Sporting Goods. You've probably heard of this store or shopped at this popular sports store before, and if you haven't, the business sells a wide range of brand name and private label equipment, clothing, shoes, and accessories. It is one of the largest sporting good retailers in the U.S., with about 854 stores and 50,000 employees. Even though Dix isn't protected to get the same explosive results this year as they did last year, we still think this is a great business trading at a great price, especially since it's an industry leader as a multi-channel sports retailer. You can see that in 2021, Dix had a great year in terms of revenue. A big part of this was Dix was able to increase their prices on a lot of their goods, as evidenced by the growth in sales, but also the gross margin from 2020 to 2021 on the income statement. Dix knocked it out of the park for sales in 2021, and this positive development translated into higher operating margins and high returns on capital. We expect Dix to be able to maintain about 15% operating margins going forward, which is better than before, and over the past 10 years, Dix has averaged a 20.5% return on invested capital, which is honestly pretty phenomenal. When we value the business based on analysts' growth and dividend expectations, today we estimate that Dick's Sporting Goods stock will make about 12.5% annual returns over the next five years. That is pretty sweet, considering the general market has historically returned about 10% annually. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, do your own research and due diligence, but I think this business has a great history of returns on capital, sales are up and margins are expected to be up, and now's a great time to consider this stock. MCK. Alright guys, for our next stock pick we have the McKesson Corporation, which is an American pharmaceutical and medical supply corporation that also provides health information technology, medical supplies, and systems for managing patient care. This corporation, which employs more than 78,000 people, is responsible for producing one-third of all pharmaceuticals sold in North America. I like this company for its competitive position, and this kind of reflects in the business's results. Recently, MCK played a key part in the COVID response efforts in the U.S. and abroad through the distribution of vaccines, ancillary supply kits, and COVID-19 tests. McKesson Corporation stock has climbed nearly 150% since March of 2020 COVID as the restrictions brought by the coronavirus pandemic decreased, also with the geopolitical tensions. In the first half of 2022, MCK stock has done very well, which has caught the attention of many investors. Even though the stock has performed well doesn't mean that it's too pricey now to be a good investment. McKesson is one of the big three wholesalers, along with Amerisource Bergen and Cardinal Health. That means this company's a market leader. Looking at this stock's numbers, we can see that revenue has been absolutely tearing, although the business's operating margins have seen a bit of a decline. More importantly, the business's returns on invested capital have been trending upwards, meaning the company makes more on its investors' dollars. My model forecasts that McKesson will see 9.6% annual returns over the next five years, given conservative analyst estimates for earnings per share and dividends. With McKesson stock, you shouldn't expect to get some crazy 10 times return or anything like that. This isn't a crypto coin or something. But here's the thing, McKesson is one of the big three drug wholesalers. It's an industry leader, and that's probably not going to change anytime soon. If you're looking for high quality businesses at reasonable prices, this might be one to consider. eBay. Coming up next in our list of top stocks, we have the one and only, the excellent and eloquent eBay. eBay is an internet marketplace that allows people to buy and sell a wide range of items through auctions and fixed price sales. The way that eBay makes money is it collects a percentage of the total sales that go through the platform, so the more people that buy and sell on eBay, the more money the company makes. 
eBay has grown to do business in more than 190 different markets and has over 159 million active buyers. eBay's stock has been absolutely hammered. The stock rose from COVID lows of about $30 a share to highs of nearly $80 per share, which marks a 167% return before losing over 50% of its price to today's price now that it's fallen to about $40 a share. Bears might say that eBay is facing increased competition in the e-commerce market, and that argument definitely holds weight. However, we see that this is a great time to look into the stock more because this is a good business and the market's now offering the stock at 50% off. But you might be wondering, is this a value trap? Is this a falling knife? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. Revenues have been flatlining, and I think it's because eBay is looking to focus more on its higher value customers. So they're focusing on the few, not the many. Margins have fallen a little bit, but returns on invested capital have been increasing. My model forecasts that eBay stock could see 20.5% annual returns over the next five years, with this based on conservative earnings per share and growth estimates of about 13% annually. Ultimately, I think this stock is undervalued and it's a leading e-commerce marketplace. At this time, I think it's a great time to consider the stock. Meta. And last up for you guys, we have the giant, the behemoth, Meta. You've probably heard of social media giant Meta for its platforms Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and more. Of course, the company's CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, doesn't exactly have the best reputation online. But still, Meta has nearly 3 billion users across all its platforms, giving the social media giant a huge advantage over its competitors because of its strong size and network effects. Meta stock climbed after COVID as more and more people found themselves online during the pandemic and using their products. Since August of last year, Facebook or Meta stock, depending on how you remember it, has been on an absolute freefall, dropping from a high of near $400 to around $130 a share today, signifying a nearly 70% decrease in the share price. This huge drop has emerged from negative impacts to the business, like Apple's privacy changes, lower than expected revenue growth, and more. But people are also turning away from tech stocks like Meta as rising interest rates and rising inflation have put these stocks in a negative light. When stocks go down, it can be scary for investors, but it's also a time of great opportunity. Warren Buffett once said, Whether we're talking about socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it's marked down. Right now, stocks like Facebook are certainly marked down, so we see it as a perfect time to learn more about the business and look at its future prospects. While others are fearful, we want to be greedy. Let's take a look at the business's financials. 2021 was a great year for Meta, where they saw strong revenue growth. Meta has seen strong profitability in their operating margins, and it's impressive to see that the company's return on invested capital has only increased as the company has grown in size. But the valuation is what really matters. Is it cheap, or is it still overpriced even after a massive haircut? When we look at conservative earnings per share forecasts, we forecast that earnings per share will grow at about 5% annually over the next five years. The model forecasts that Meta will see 24.1% annual returns over the next five years. This is obviously some pretty huge performance, but the numbers check out. Meta is pretty cheap right now, and with even conservative estimates, the stock looks to have a bright future ahead. Of course, do your own research and due diligence. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that ends our video for today. Let us know in the comments below which stock you like the best and which stocks you like today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe and like button so we can continue to bless your YouTube feed with more videos. And together, ladies and gentlemen, we will live in abundance. Thank you guys and see you in the next one.